Hello, hello, and welcome back to Los Santos for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. As usual, I'm playing the prey, and I'm on the approach to the first checkpoint here. It's, well, it's up it's up over that way a little bit, sort of diagonally that way. And I'm trying to find yet another way to approach it, which is a bit futile, as there's only really four different directions you can approach it from. One of them is ridiculously dangerous because it involves going past the secondary checkpoint, or the, the position in it marker first and another one is difficult to get to because you need to have gone past the checkpoint to get back to it so there but those two are basically out and that means you can either really approach it from the south or from the west Ooh, there's a green light so I'm currently southwest a bit because I haven't decided which of those I'm going to do yet I can either turn right here and then follow the road across and actually it's the next right I want and then follow the road where as it loops up towards the checkpoint and that's probably the best way to do it or I can go up another two blocks um, and then come in from the west. I think that's probably the less good idea. So let's, I think, yes, I'm going to turn right here. Uh, we've got a yield sign there, so I should stop at this one and go. And then I can come down to these lights here. And they've gone green, that's convenient, so I can shoot through here. Well, not shoot too much because, again, I don't want the, uh, I don't want the hunters to spot me. So I'm going to try and drive reasonably AI-like and try and just just look innocent and innocuous. Um, and just, fingers crossed, hope for the best, really. And the approach is going quite well. I haven't seen any hunters yet. So let's just trundle through here. and I'm going to keep going. Ooh, the light, that's gone green, so I've taken it. Excellent. So I think that probably means that they won't be alerted that I've taken the checkpoint for about five seconds. So I've got that time to sort of to sneak away from it before I'll get too much harassment from the hunters. In fact, I did, the fact that I didn't I didn't see any of them at all is a little bit puzzling because normally they're sort of they're all over me as I try and take these things. Um, but never mind, not going to complain. So now I need to start thinking about the second checkpoint. That's over in the sort of the, the high, what we call the higher lower area. Um, which is down in the middle of downtown, um, and on one, and on sort of a, um, on, a on on by the 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 by the um, the underpass by or the o o overpass by um, by Mays Bank. So it's a bit of a drive from here, um, especially with all these traffic lights. Since I'm currently trying to be trying to be good, trying to obey the traffic laws, just in case there are still any hunters around here, there probably won't be. They'll probably have headed off by now and gone off doing something else um, but I don't want to be too blasé about it because that way lies trouble now if I take not this one but the next the next left turn that road leads all the way down to the next checkpoint so I can just follow it the whole way but that's in my experience is somewhat unwise Come, trying to take that checkpoint by coming down the ramps towards it tends to go badly because there's usually a hunter waiting on the ramps. So what I'm going to do is go another two blocks across, I think. In fact, if I do, actually, that just means I follow this road until it curves brown and starts heading south, and then just keep following it. Oops, wasn't paying attention, too busy looking at the map. <laughs> We've been playing for a little while now, so there's an abandoned hunter car there. Um, I think I can probably safely ignore that, since the hunter who drives cars of that colour has now left and to go to bed. So I think it's probably safe to ignore it. As I was saying, so yes, if I follow this road to the end and, and follow it round so it until it heads south, I can then follow this all the way down into downtown, and then cut a left at the bottom of that, and go across to the to pick up the checkpoint. So I think that's, pro that's what I'm going to do. Um, at least that's what I'm going to plan to do, and we'll see how that goes. You know, it'll probably survive until I see it, until I spot a hunter or a hunter spots me, and then things start to get a bit more, um, a bit more dangerous. So this is our standard um, manhunt checkpoint mode, where we have the um, we have the prey trying to get through all of the checkpoints as I was going to say as quickly as they can. I mean that's not really part of the um, the objective. It's just trying to get through and survive it. And the hunters are trying to stop me doing it. And they'll do that by um, trying to ram me off the road, trying to shoot me if they can. But they're not allowed to shoot from inside the car. So I've got to get out of the car first, because otherwise it's far too easy. Um, 
and also I'm and then uh, I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to shoot at all. We seem to have established that as a um, as a guideline at least. So which is a little unfair, but never mind. Um, I'm also not allowed to use sports or supercars because they tend to make things go a bit too quickly. It's a bit less it's a bit less fun if the cars are too powerful. So I'm using an oracle. I seem to use oracles an awful lot actually. It's going to get to the point where if they see an oracle, they're going to assume it's me, uh, which isn't ideal because I want. Uh, I want to be um, hard to spot, but there just seem to be quite a lot of oracles around, and they're they're good cars. They're um, they're in the coupe class, which means they're the best class of car I'm allowed to use, and and they drive quite nicely. They handle quite well, and they look relatively innocuous. The F620, for example, is another coupe. It's a little bit faster. It's um, I think it doesn't handle quite as well, but it doesn't. But it looks much much sportier. It looks a bit like. Um, Probably a bit like a Jaguar F type, and a bit with a bit of Maserati thrown in. Whereas this is more like perhaps a sort. This is a bit like a BMW with a bit of Mercedes thrown in. It's, it's a bit more of a sort of a a sporty sedan type car, um, rather than the um, rather than the sports coupes like the F620. I'm going to run this red light. So compared to the, compared to things like the F620, the Oracle is a relatively innocuous car. It even looks a little bit like a Volvo from the right angles. And so I think. Hopefully that means the hunters aren't quite as familiar with the um, stable of GTA cars as I am, and so they won't be able to tell the difference. Or at least they'll they'll see this car and they'll go, "Oh, it's a it's a sedan," and therefore it won't stick out quite as much. Whereas if I was using a car like that one to my to my oop, to my left there, that looks much sportier, so that'll probably stick out a bit more. Okay, we're coming up to the dog leg, so I'm going to go across here. I don't know if this is the right lane for this. I think it must be. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to go round the dog leg. And then over there, those are the over and under passes that I was talking about. And the uh, the checkpoint I'm after is about diagonally on the other side of that block, I believe. As you can probably tell, but you can tell better than I can from the map. Uh, in fact, oh no, it's two blocks across. There's, I, I can see it on the mini map. I'm still I'm still not used to having a mini map down there that I can look at. It's been we've we spent so much time playing in um, normal vanilla GTA Online mode that I'm not used to. I, I've I've forgotten that the mini map is a thing. What is? It? Okay, that was clearly Pete. It looked weird first. That it looked like he had a white or a pale green stripe up the middle of his car, so I didn't recognise him at first. Um, but yeah, this he's not coming back, so I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I'm 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 so I'm just not used to having a mini map anymore because I've not had one for so long. So I keep forgetting it's there and I can look at it. Now it doesn't show the other player positions because that would make the game a bit too easy for for everyone. I could use it to dodge the hunters quite easily. They could use it to always tell where I am. I can hear shooting. So either way, that would be um it would just spoil the game completely. So um yeah, so we don't have we don't have that turned on. But it does show me where the um it does show me where the checkpoint is, which is quite useful. And um if I if I if I get lost or I'm not quite sure which um which junction I'm I'm, I'm coming up to then this, then it'll then it'll help with that. I've also realized from looking at how I get caught. Oh, there's another hunter, dead hunter vehicle over there. I think it's probably dead. He's had that where he's guarding. Um, and oh, there's Mike in the orange and blinking around as is, as is his way. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I've noticed that what, there's a couple of ways I t I, I've repeatedly got caught in the past. One is pulling up too far from the line at the at traffic lights like this. Um, so I'm being, trying to be careful to make sure I park in the right place. And the other is realising I've pulled up too far from the line and then edging forwards a little bit. And both of those seem to um, seem to alert the hunters. They, they, they tend to notice that. So um, I'm going to try not to do that. Now this is a bit of a worry. There's a purple car there that's just generally sat there being obnoxious. Okay, he doesn't seem to have reacted to me. Um, now one thing is, I've been able to change my uh, player model now, so they don't know what to expect me to look like. And that's a big help. I'm going to leave here, I think. Was that suspicious enough? It wasn't suspicious enough, they didn't twig. Excellent. So that's two, point, two checkpoints down. I'm just going to run this one. Actually, ooh, uh, I didn't want to go this way. That was bad. Are they behind me? No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> I realise that I am actually now driving straight towards checkpoint number three, and I'm not allowed to take it. 
uh, because I haven't gone into fourth position yet, which is the rule for oh, how we decide when the next checkpoint is allowed to be taken. Uh, so I need to not... I need to stop driving into unbreakable poles, for one thing. And I need to just get out of here. Get away from the checkpoint. Stop being so close to it. And just generally leave the area until I'm in fourth place. And then I need to get a car that doesn't look like that on the front end. Because that's going to get me caught. So, car shopping time. That's a fuselade. That's too good. Alright, I'll go into the airport. Why not? <laughs> I don't tend to, I try to. I mostly try to avoid the airport because there is there is only really one way in, one way and and well, there's three ways in technically, but it's it's fiddly and awkward, so I don't like going in here. But hopefully, I can find a worthwhile car in here, which is none of you guys, because I have thoroughly trashed this one. Nope, all we're getting is vans and emperors, and there's a fuselade there which I can't take because that's a sports car. What's this? Whatever it is, I think it'll probably do because it's... I think that's a Futo. Is that a Futo? It is a Futo. Well, good for me for being able to identify GTA cars. Bad for me for picking up a Futo. <laughs> it's not the best. It's got a little bit of a turn of speed, I suppose. Um, on the plus side, it's not the sort of car they'd expect me to be in. So maybe that'll help, help me, um, me stay safe, alive, innocuous, all those sort of things. There's a, there's a mic mobile parked there. I think that's from a um from some from some from some shenanigans in a previous run and he's just not tidied up after himself, which is very unhelpful of him. I'll um, <laughs> be sure to tell him off later. But yeah, there's not a lot not a lot we can do about it at the moment because we're in the middle of a race. I mean, I I, I could I suppose I could use it if it wasn't quite so beaten up, I might be tempted to. Um, that would be amusing at least. I don't know whether... I mean, yes, I'm allowed to. I can pick up any card I, I find at the side of the road. There's nothing wrong with that. But I don't know if it would be particularly useful. Okay, now I need to think about how to approach this checkpoint. So, I don't want to go around to the right here. At least... Oh, actually, maybe I do. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, and I've been having some issues with the sound today, which is why it's just cut out like that and now cut back in again. I'm not sure what's causing that. Um, I believe it is also happening in the recording as well as in the, sort of the live. Um, so I do apologise, um, but I'm afraid... Oh, let's go through the car park actually, because it's a shortcut. But I'm afraid there's not really anything I can do about it, at least not at the moment. I could also go car shopping. Now, if I go car shopping, I'll end up with a car with a broken window and that... I don't know. I don't know how observant the hunters are. It may or may not get me caught. <laughs> and I don't really want to chance it. Okay, coming out of a car park is always a little bit dodge, but I seem to have got away with it. I've just realised that I didn't look at my um, position indicator when I was going out and stealing the cars in the, in the airport. I don't know if I've actually been fourth yet. I think I have. That's third. Fourth. Okay. I've definitely been fourth now. Okay, good. So, <laughs> even if I hadn't before, I am now I am now okay. I'm now good to take it. Is this the right bridge? Yes. Yes, I think it is. Right turn on a red light. That's allowed. It's a bit of wheel spin there. I'm quite impressed if Futo could do that. Yes, this is the right place. So if I get over onto this lane, what's going on behind me then? I don't know. I heard a smashing noise. So if I get over here and then go around this road, I think, if I've got this right, the checkpoint is just round here ahead of me. Yes, good. And once again, I've completely forgot about the minimap. That would have been a good way to tell. Okay, so there's the checkpoint. I'm going to go carry on straight through here. This car is in the sports class. What? A, car a Futo is a sports car. Really? I picked it up because I thought it was terrible. I admit I didn't even look at the um, class when I got it. Okay. That's unfortunate. I guess I'll um, Holy shit. deal 
this car, since that one's just trashed itself. That's unexpected. Okay, that was unexpected. I was honestly not expecting to have a... Um, to be... Uh, to, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I did not think the Futo was a sports car. Put it that way. Uh, there's a guy running up behind me. I'm not going to hang around. This is a muscle car, so it's definitely allowed. <laughs> That's unexpected. Um, I mean, I managed to sneak through the uh, the checkpoint without being seen. Let's see if I can do that a second time. <laughs> I'm worried about that hunter who is right in front of me. That is making me paranoid as a paranoid person. Okay, I think I got away with it though. There was two of them there, and maybe my driving wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was. Because I seem to be free. Where's checkpoint four? Okay, it's over there. Oop, and there goes the sound again. I want that car. I want that oracle. Let's have it. <laughs> I mean, I am driving oracles basically all the time at the moment because it is hands and far and away, hands down, as opposed to hands and away, which is what I was about to say. But far and away, the best car that's spawn in the current spawn set. So, yeah, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> sticking with them. Going to keep using them. Okay, third position, fourth position. Excellent. This is going quite well so far. I mean. I know that's probably a fatal thing to say, and it's going to come crashing down on me, and I'm going to regret it, regret saying it. But so far, going pretty well. I've not even really had any chases. I've seen the hunters a few times, but uh, I don't think they've seen me. So yeah, this is going well. So right, where am I? Okay. <clears throat> if I head up to the bottom of square of. No, top of. Yeah, bottom of square of squares and turn left. Then this this road down here will eventually bring me all the way to the checkpoint. It's quite a long way, um, but it will bring me there. I'm not sure whether going this way, going all the way along one straight road is a good idea, though. That tends to be a good way to get the attention from the hunters because they'll. they'll Generally, I mean, it's sort of human nature. They will they will patrol up and down the the major roads that lead to the checkpoint because it's the obvious ways to expect me to be coming from. And so, for me to drive all the way along here, potentially a bit unwise. What I should probably do is head a road over to the left or to the right, probably to the right, because then I can come in from the north rather than up another major road to it. Um, alternatively, if I go over to the left. That's not my... Actually, that's not my, my light. Yeah, there we go. There's a hunter coming along there, you see. So that's exactly what I was afraid of. Now, he was going quite quickly. So if I come along here and pull a left turn like that, hopefully I'm far enough away that he didn't see me do that. And I can now get down here. Stop. Right on red. Take this corner and just get out of there. So I'm now going through... Under, right. So if I, f okay, yeah, this this is this is going quite well. If I follow this along here, and just sort of snake left and right, right and left, right left, that's going to bring me in down some fairly small roads, I think. Yeah, so right, left, second right, then left, and that'll drop me onto the onto the checkpoint. I think that's going to work. Um, I mean, as always, until. Plans and plans until first contact with the enemy, and also hope that Tristan hasn't seen a um, a red oracle hooning around and is now suspicious of all red oracles in the in the uh, in the city. Is that in the right place? No, I'm still I'm still stopping too far back. I think judging by well that one next to me has stopped perfectly in exactly the right place. But I think looking looking at cars around GTA in general, they seem to be more likely to go out, go across the line. Than to stop behind, than to stop way back from it. So maybe that's the uh, the way I should try and get used to st try and stop a bit later and try and get a feel for what this looks like as well. So yeah, 
<laughs> mediocre is the uh, worst insult ever, apparently. Okay, so yeah, I go along here, across this, across this crossroads, and then I need to pull a right, or I want to pull a right here. I feel like there should be a way to sneak through here across country, but that's just going to make me really, really obvious. So I'll pull this right. Oop, that was a bit lumpy. Up here. Then a left turn. And then I'm on top of the checkpoint. So I'll stop there. It's a little bit far back. About there. So, there's the checkpoint. I can't see any hunters from here. I can see one over there, though. Oop, that's it. Green light, perfectly timed. Thank you very much. Green checkpoint, just what I like to see. Purple has sailed straight past me. Even better. Everything's looking good, promising at the moment. Where's checkpoint number five? Checkpoint number five is back over in the um, in downtown, and, and again in the sort of in the middle of the higher or lower. So this is an interesting one because you can either go higher or lower in order to get it. Um, I'm not sure which is better. It depends where the, depends entirely on where the hunters are. So, I'm going to try and approach it from this direction. If I turn right here, in fact, that will take me... There goes green. If I turn right here, it will take me directly towards it, but I need to have got into fourth place before I'm allowed to take it, so I'm not sure I want to just immediately turn right. Um, but if I do that and then head along fairly slowly, it gives them plenty of chances to, um, to get ahead of me. So I think it's worth a shot. Especially as there's quite a lot of traffic lights around here. Ooh, that was that was some brake lights, reversing lights. I don't want that. Yeah, oh, there we go. There's fourth. Excellent. Yeah, this is going this is going very well. I'm um, I'm pleased with my progress so far. Uh, touch wood and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. So how far? Yeah. This is the, you can see you can make out the bridge ahead of me. That's the um, what's that? That's the that's the the north south highway that goes through this part. It sort of marks the edge of downtown as far as I'm concerned on my sort of mental map of the city. Once I go past that... Oh, there's another red light in must immediately. <laughs> this is going to be a slow approach, but the hunters are going to be around. I don't want to... I don't want to risk it too much. I, I don't want to risk ploughing through red lights and getting spotted. When it's gone so well so far, and I've done such a good job of sneaking, if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, modesty, modesty. So yeah, I carry on through here. Then I think, after I've gone under the... Um, under the bridge with the highway on it I then will have I think I then have a choice of whether I go up or down so now and then at that point I need to make a snap decision based on what feels better where where I expect the hunters are going to be that sort of those sort of soft fuzzy types of reasonings Oh, need to stop braking so hard that I flash the um, flash of reversing lights when I stop. So yes, do I want to go up or down? That's the question. I think at this point I'm not going to make a decision. I think the fact that I'm in the left-hand lane might force me to go up, and if that's the case, then I'm not going to try and push a barge across because that's going to again make me stick out, and that's the last thing I want. But. Alternatively, if I look across and I see two of the hunters in the lower area, then that'll help me make my mind up. Or vice versa, if I see them all in the higher area, and I don't see anyone at all from here. I have, however, just been in the wrong lane. <laughs> the lane I was in didn't go either higher or lower, it went off to the left there. Okay, so there's the checkpoint. I shall grab that like... So, and then I, oh, I didn't want to go the other way. Oh, there's purple. I don't like that. He has gone straight past me, though, but he is coming back. Uh, I need a green light. I need a green light. I need to stop dancing. There's a green light. That's convenient. I'm now heading away from the final checkpoint. However, I feel at this point, discretion may be the better part of Valor, so I'm going to go with that. And then try and loop back round. So, okay, if I come up here... So, checkpoint six is down behind me. Um, I'll come across. 
Oh, I didn't have time to look at the map properly while I was stopped at that traffic light. Okay, so I've across the zip. Trying to look, trying to look at the map and drive at the same time. Not wise. Do not recommend. Okay, so where am I? A block before the shopping centre. So that's that one. Yeah, I can work with this. If I come down here. Oh, I should probably. I know what I should do here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's be sneaky about this because that's always a good shout. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to yeah I am going to turn left here and go across the um, go across the highway. Then I'll turn right and go way out way out towards Chinese Monument and loop back round from there. Did I say right? I'm, well, I'm going to go left here. Follow this four by four. Cross the highway. Turn right. Then out to Chinese Monument and then come back in from there. And I'm going to use the off-road bit. I'm going to take the final one at speed. Because I don't think there's going to be... I just feel like I can't take that one without being spotted. It's just sort of a, a vague suspicion. And then after that, in order to win the game, I have to... If the game is set up the way I think it is, and I think it's set up the way I think it is, because otherwise I wouldn't think it was, then after taking the checkpoint, I have to get a certain distance away from the hunters. And so at that point, I just put my foot down wasn't sure if that was going to stop. Um, I can just put my foot down and try and flee and as long as I can get away from them then I just point the car north and maybe even head out of the city. And if I can do that then that will that should get me far enough away from them to win the game. Blind Futo. Not paying attention. Okay, so I've got a plan. Let's see how that plan goes. Oh, look who it is. Uh, I need to get quite a bit further over to the uh, to the west before I can do anything from here. Every time you get your fucking period, we fight. Oh come on! I wish GTA vehicles wouldn't do that. It's where they, where they they just pull out into the middle of a junction. Or pull out a little bit into the junction, then wait for the lights to go red before they actually go anywhere. And you just end up stuck behind them going, what are you doing? No wonder there's so much road rage in this city. Nobody can drive. <sighs> Come on, let's have some green lights here. I mean, I don't think there are any hunters around. I am the closest person to the checkpoint, which is interesting. Um... I'm not sure if I've gone forth yet. I haven't noticed myself going forth, and I know I say this a lot. It's just because I'm I'm too busy concentrating on the driving to um, actually keep an eye on my position indicator, and also trying to keep an eye on an eye out for hunters as well. So that number down the bottom of the screen isn't. I'm not paying enough attention to it, basically. <laughs> Maybe I'll um, see if we can code in a um, a green light that comes on to tell me I'm. Um, I'm allowed to take it rather than just having to remember using my actual brain. Okay, so that's cross the highway. I want to go one more and then turn left. And stop braking so hard. <laughs> I need, must stop putting the reversing lights on from braking so hard. That's just not good. Um. Yeah, one more should do. I'll bring this. This one should should be all right. I'll bring me down more or less at Chinese Monument, I think. Actually, no, no, one more after this one. I take it back. I need to go on a little bit further across, um, and then I can go down and swing in from a very different angle. And actually, given that I'm still in first place, I feel like I need to just carry on anyway until I get until I get fourth because I'm too close at the moment. I can't. I can't take. I can't take the checkpoint at this at this stage until I've until I've got a, a much higher position. Come on, hunters, what are you doing? Get get into first place. <laughs> or get sorry, get in, get ahead of me. I, I, I don't care. I just need to. I need you guys to have got closer to the checkpoint than this, so I can go in and take it. Because I'm not. I'm still honestly not sure whether I've been close, whether I've been further enough, whether I've been in last place yet. 
and we implemented that rule basically to stop the um, the prey sprinting all the checkpoints so the idea is that if you have to get into last place it gives the hunters a bit of a chance to realize the prey has taken the checkpoint head down to start guarding the next one and so on so it makes it a little bit diff harder from that point of view it doesn't make so much sense in the current game mode though to be honest because we've got the um, because we've got the only the prey has to take the checkpoint it's um, I could still in, in theory find a way of, of running them but um, it, it does make it a bit harder anyway we actually implemented that rule back when we were playing. Um, we were using GTA Online uh, races for the uh, for the checkpoint runs because it was a nice way of, as I say, making sure that the uh, the hunters had had plenty of time to sort of consolidate their thoughts, get themselves used to things that were going on, and so on uh, before before the prey tried to take the next checkpoint. So, oh, there's three three or four. That's um, better and you can see the checkpoint ahead of me there glowing over, over the buildings and of course you can see it on the map as well so things are sort of starting to look up but oh, second <laughs> I just I don't know why I don't know why they're so so I don't know why they're so far away from the checkpoint to be honest maybe they don't know where it is they're having trouble finding it I I don't know I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first again I'm gonna start my approach run and drive towards it as if I'm planning to take it and I'm going to keep an eye on the position indicator and hopefully that'll bump its way all the way up to fourth and then I'll be, so I'll be allowed to take it and if not I guess I'll just keep going and head and go around the airport again because that's where else can I go from here right this is the moment this is the decision point I think yeah so I need I want to go up that road there because there's a way, uh, there's an off-road route th through from that road that will take me briefly off-road, as I say, and then up to the check and onto the checkpoint itself. So that's probably the best way to take it. But if the hunters are all blooming miles away, then I can't take. I can't. I just can't take it yet. Let's. Ooh, where am I? I wasn't where I thought it was. I need to be another. Thing, another road along. So what I actually meant to do was go down this road. This is directly away from the checkpoint now. So if I head down here, oh don't actually learn from previous mistakes Lawrence, don't just head down there flat out because that's how the um, if there's any hunters around here and there might be because one of them, there we go, there's fourth place finally. Right. Okay let's loop around like that. Now, I don't really care about the condition of my car at this point because I'm planning to do an off-road assault on the checkpoint anyway. So, it doesn't really... If the car's already damaged, I don't care. It, they're going to know it's me because I'll be off-road. Although, here's a sneaky thought. How big is that checkpoint? Let's have a quick look at the, um, the big map. Oh, it doesn't show me on this one. All right, it's only the other game mode where you can see the size of a checkpoint. Is it? It might be possible for me to sneak round to it off-road and then actually take it without 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 going out onto the road. Especially if I sort of go over to it on foot. So if I turn in into this car park here, this is my first sort of suspicious move. And come round here. Turn my lights off and my radio off. Oh, they were guarding this. No! <laughs> I've done this before too many times. And I say too many times. I've done this before once or twice. But apparently that's too many times and they were suspicious and therefore guarding it. Oh, that was a big slide! And another big slide. Let's try to not big slide. Are they behind me? Are they behind me? I can't tell. I don't want to be here. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So the problem with a clever plan like that, especially if it's a clever plan that I've used before, is they were ready and expecting it. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself that I got away from there. What are you? You're not another oracle, so I'm going to take that, because at least it's different and it's a different colour. So this is going to look like a suitably different car. <laughs> oh god, there were a lot of... Ow! people in that car. Damn it, you found me again. Ah. 
That was me hoping that I'd gone far enough away. But no, apparently not. Right, I've gone off-road there. That, I hope, is going to throw him a little bit. because, Or at least, it's, it's not going to throw him off. Because he's going to be able to see exactly where I went. Because it was pretty obvious. But I'm hope but it's going to throw off his ability to give instructions. Oh, that was a bad landing. It's going to throw off his ability to give instructions. Which is the most important thing at this point. At least, I hope it is. And now if I go this way, because this is the way he was not. Oh, that's a concrete wall. I can't go up there. Oh no, this is the end of the world. <laughs> this is not ideal. Because I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know where the ways out are. And there's a reasonable chance of me drowning my car if I'm not careful. And it's difficult to be careful and fast. However, I do seem to have lost Pete. So, fingers crossed, I'm now safe. Oh look, another red oracle. Isn't this great? Ah! Oh my god! I mean, I, I like the oracle. Um, I just feel that having just tried to escape, just tried to take the checkpoint in a red oracle, I probably shouldn't try and take it in a different red oracle. I. But Pete did see me change into that blue Primo. So he's going to have told the rest of the hunters that I've changed vehicle. So they're probably not going to expect me to be in an identical car. I don't know. I'm going to overtake this van. Because it's going really slowly. And I want to head back in and try and take that checkpoint before they have a chance to regroup too much. I'm kind of proud of them for remembering that route in and leaving somebody to guard it that's <laughs> brilliant <laughs> uh, disappointing for me in a way but, um, but brilliant um, lots of respect for that <laughs> uh, and to think I, I usually do my be work so hard on trying not to, trying to be unpredictable and not doing things that I've done before but this time not so well there's Mike over there okay he's in the wrong direction at the moment here we go green checkpoint final hunters in progress right so that's they now have to as I said they ha I have to get a certain distance away from them as it basically I have to be not in a chase like I am right now because I put my foot down and I think he knew it was me anyway so I'm gonna well he's got his Windsor so he's probably going to have a speed advantage over me um, But I should have a manoeuvrability advantage over him. But I think he also has a skill advantage over me, which is slightly unfortunate. <laughs> so, oh god, there's a broken car in the middle of the road. <laughs> or two, or several. Ah, he got slowed down a little bit more than I did by those. So, yeah. Um, this is going okay so far. So, so he's going to expect me to just... Oop, Oh, he's, okay. He's probably going to expect me to crash if I'm being quite honest. He's going to—I was going to say—he's going to expect me to try and just flee out of the city by heading due north and just continuously continuing to go that way, because that's the obvious thing to do, and it's what I've done in some of the test runs we've done. So maybe if I try and change direction at the last minute. Oh no, he—he he, um, was ready enough for that. Oh, that's a lot of slowdown and. My car is starting to suffer. Oh, and my grip is not so great. Oh dear. Right. Oh, that concrete wall was where I didn't think it was, if that makes any sense. Okay, so he's still with me. This is... <laughs> oh, it's about time we had a proper chase, actually. It's been um, kind of quiet up until now with... Oh, that looked like an orange car there, I think. It's been kind of quiet up until now, with the, in that the um, I've been taking all the checkpoints really, really sneakily, and it's been going really well for me. And that's probably why they were kind of ready for me to try and do the really, really sneaky approach on that that last one, and why Pete was actually there waiting for me, because I've I've snuck through so many so far that they were obviously aware that I was trying for a really sneaky run. Oh, there's two of them now. I see green headlights as well. <laughs> um, and so yeah, they were they were ready for it. 
Ooh, that was a slide. That was a big slide. Let's go in this alleyway. Because if I'm slowed down, then I might as well make a bid for an alleyway. Okay, so Tristan seems to have got left behind, which is nice. So there's now, there's, now there's, but there's now there's Pete instead. So, um, yeah. His, oh, no, Tristan's back in the chase again. Ah, oh, I was going to say Pete's car isn't quite as quick, so I might have a speed advantage over him. Um, but... Now, now Tristan's back in. There's, well, there's two... Oh! There's two of them as well. Oh, what was... The, no! Oh, don't pin me, don't pin me, don't pin me. Thank goodness for that. Right, maybe if one of them gets out and tries to shoot me, that'll give me the ability to get away. No, they're still, still both there. <clears throat> I wasn't prepared to stop and wait, though, because that would have been almost certainly fatal. I feel like I need to dive into an alleyway, but that's really difficult to do at speed. And if I slow down in order to do so... Oh, there's Mike, <laughs> trying, to, trying to head me off at the pass. Okay, here we go, in here, and then the sneaky way through here. They all know about this route, but that doesn't mean they'll be able to follow me through it if they're charging along at high speed. So that might have done it. Oh. Am I free? Am I free? I think I'm free. Okay, so now that I'm free, in order to win, I need to get a certain distance away from them. Um, a certain fairly long distance. Like, I think it's about... It's a significant chunk of the city. Oh no, that was Pete going in the opposite direction, but I don't think he recognised me. I was on the correct side of the road and not going that quickly. But if he's going that way, I want to go this way. Now they'll probably guess that I'll try and go north, I think, because that's the, the obvious way to go. There's so much island that way, that in theory by going that way I could just cover an enormous amount of ground and potentially... Oh, there we go, that's far enough away. Oh, wow. Thank goodness. It's been so long since I've won a checkpoint run. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, oh, very happy with that. So I'm, I'm also glad that it ended with a nice um, a nice chase and a race at the end where I was able to sort of try and avoid... Uh, try, try and escape from them. So oh, that's, that's fast satisfying. I'm very pleased with that. So thank you for watching. That's been um, Manhunt Checkpoint. And I've actually managed to win one. And that's... Oh, makes... I say, makes a nice change. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, there'll be a bit of a um, a bit of show and tell of showing what the uh, the hunters have been up to during the um, during the chases for the rest of the video, um, and then there'll be more to come. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to join in, we are interested in finding more people, more players. So uh, send me a message, drop me a line. We'll uh, see if we can see if we can get you added in and. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Occasionally because they're big and heavy. Mm. He wants to try and beat me in my own game. There's a people beer with a spoiler. Here. It's, what's out, this one here? Beer. This red one. Muscle car. Yeah. Well, the checkpoint's still there, so it's unlikely. It, yeah, clearly not. First. But I was fourth. I'm heading away. Yeah, oh. He's taking it.
help. Mike's help. Hello. It's your second then, Mike. Now first. He's third. Uh, yeah, that car, you just hit Tristan. I think it's one you hit. I thought it had two. Uh, heading southeast. Me, oh, maybe it did. Oh, uh, yeah, it did, you're right. Very bad. Mm. Third at the moment. Is this an EP? Fourth still. Oh, he's second though. He's close. Right. Okay. Also, here with Carl out there. Third going through the checkpoint. Second now. Right, colourful car park, still fourth. Right, you and I just traded. Measurements? Oh, it's ch he's taken it. Oh, yeah. And approaching third. Uh, Maybe Heading now, two, third and fourth. Yeah, I'm second. Yeah, down in the bottom side of uh, Square Squares. He's not approaching higher north. He's not approaching from the east, I don't believe. There's slightly more options there, but he's taking that. I've just gone fourth. He's taking that. Yeah, was it? Oh. Is anyone fourth at the moment? I am. Okay. Uh, head towards the next checkpoint. Okay. Right, I know he likes to use the uh, car park here, so I'm going to wait around there just in case. Mm -hmm. Still fourth, he approaching the checkpoint until I'm now fourth. Right by so okay. Yeah, something's going weird here. Got him. Car park. Car park. Going Black sedan. Checkpoint. He's about to the checkpoint. He's heading south. Genuinely don't see. Oh, they... Um, I don't know, I think I've lost them. Damn it. He's also not taking the checkpoint. Oh, no. No, he's gone, he's gone ahead. Ah, uh, why did you turn there, you stupid car? He went ahead and turned right at the uh, junction. But also he hasn't taken the checkpoint. No, he hadn't. Okay. It's definitely him, is it? He's just changed car. Yep, he's now in a, another dark sedan. 
Uh, he's going uh, anti-clockwise around arena, on the motorway, off-road. Uh, heading west, under the highway overpass. Uh, we are slightly off-road, heading into storm drain. West of arena. Uh, yep, yeah, he is heading west down the storm drain. Where did you go? You went up here, didn't you? Bet you did. I've lost him. Yeah, I've lost him. Oh, Taking it. Oh dear. What? Last chance to find him. Mm -hmm. That's where? Uh, uh, Norton's checkpoint heading east past Red Car Park, maybe. Yes, it's definitely him. Oh, where was that, sorry? Uh, heading east from Red Car Park, passing Square of Squares. He has to get at least a certain distance away from us uh, for 20 seconds. So if he can stay his 10 seconds, up the east side of uh, Square of Squares. Load of burnt out cars there. Right? Heading north up the highway, what it, that road becomes. Okay. Passing the dash end. He's slightly pulling ahead of me. Not anymore, he's crashed. Damaged his car a bit. He's turning around and coming back down the highway. No, he's going to continue up the highway. Because yeah, he right just wants distance. So passing the casino now. Coming up that highway. No, he's swerved okay. to come off just after the casino. And he's heading back to pass by the casino. No, he's turning around still. On the highway? No, he's coming back onto the highway. South. Onto the, Wait, onto the wrong way. Wrong way. Against traffic. Against traffic. Uh, no, he's, no, he's still the wrong way. Uh, he's now switching to the correct side, south past the casino, on the highway. Coming off at Dashen. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, you blinked back away from it in front of me, yeah. so that was useful. Uh, I was trying try to get the ram on him, but I was just be trying not to exit the missing ram you. Uh, heading west towards shopping centre, but turned up north ahead of that, somewhere ahead. Uh, heading east again. Uh, and then south, just done a loop. Yes, around there, that red car, dead ahead of me. Thank you. And yeah, this way, Mike. Yep. Turning right, uh, just ahead of Square Squares. I didn't see where we went in there, did he? A left on the alleyway. Yeah. And then right at the end. Past Maze Bank. Yeah. Sorry, is that car got in your way? <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I touched it, so it went flying. <laughs> Sounds about right for a mental. Windsor. Uh, heading north past Arcadius. East side of Arcadius, I think. Heading west towards shopping centre. He's just spun. Let's give him a nudge. Keep me busy. That might be him stuck. No, he's not stuck. Whereabouts? Uh, north from Arcadius. Yep, so I'm passing shopping centre now on the east side. Uh, stay, stay east of shopping centre. Uh, go to the north edge of the shopping centre. Take a right at that first road. Stupid. North Edge Shopping Centre? Pass it now. Keep go, go north another block. Uh, lost visual. Another block? We've, yeah, we've lost sight of him. I've seen you guys. Just scatter. Uh, try and find him, because all he has to do is stay away from us. Yeah, 